Hi, I'm Lakshman. So this video is about how to set up your Unin Omega for the first time. You might have just received or uh, uh, unboxed your Omega packing. Uh, so I'll show you how you uh, you, are, you need to do your setup of your Unin Omega. So this is Unin Omega 2 Plus. Uh, this is the expansion dock actually, and this is the computer Unin Omega 2 Plus. So this is a Linux powered uh, tiny computer. So um, these are the two um, components. The next thing you need is for to provide the power supply, uh, or USB cable. So you can provide so, to provide the power supply. So I have a USB data cable of my Android device. So I'll be providing the power supply through my laptop. You can provide it through your um, charger or anything. So I'm connecting it to my USB port of my laptop. And then what I need to okay at first let me connect uh, let me let me connect the Omega to the expansion dock mm, so just to care about the uh, this one uh, the uh, little cut is of the Omega 2 so this is the side and here you can see there is uh, the shape so it's a, we need to match so this is a 30 pin connector we are connecting it, uh, it to the board so mind the shape and in, just insert it into the board okay be careful while inserting so they are strong enough that they won't get broken okay so i have just inserted the next thing i am going to do is uh, giving the power supply so uh, so this is the cable and then I need to connect it here to the power port so this is the USB port and this is the power port okay just a while okay so I have provided the power supply and you can see the lights are blinking so this is uh, in at the beginning that tool you can see two lights are blinking so now uh, it started flashing and after some time it will be consistent the, the light will turn into a constant solid uh, light so just wait for a while it might take some seconds for the initial boot up so this is when the device is booting if your device does not blink then don't worry some devices don't blink they directly give consistent color okay now you can see that the light has turned into a constant uh, solid light so you, know, you are now ready to proceed towards the further setup okay after powering your omega 2 the setup you need to follow is like this uh, if you are using windows then install bonjour service from apple so if you are using mac os or other uh, operating system or maybe Linux then you don't need to do anything so um, the next thing what we are going to do is we need to connect our Wi-Fi network to the Omega's Wi-Fi network so EB7 is the last four digit of my Omega okay I'm connecting my network to it so the password will be one two three four five six seven numbers from 1 to 7 sorry from 1 to 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so connect it after connecting okay it has connected to the Omega after connecting go to your browser and open open Omega dash the name of your Omega device in my case it's EB7 EB7 dot local okay so this will open open up this setup wizard sometimes uh, this URL might not open up this page so in that case what you need to do is open via the IP address 192.168.3.1 so it will take you to this page so after this click on start the username is root password 
Tulis U N I O N I E R. Okay. So connect it. So now this is the mandatory step that we need to do. I have previously connected uh, set of this step to my home network. So you will get option here to add Wi-Fi SSID and security and password. So you, you should do this because we are will be sharing internet uh, the network with our home network. So this is my home network and this is Omega's. So you need to give the credentials of home network to the Omega. Okay. So I have already done this. So next thing is you can restore this device on the cloud for different purposes. or let me just skip it Reason. So we can uh, the recommended thing to do is after setting up uh, just update your firmware to the latest versions. So console is the command line option. Uh, so while setting up the Wi-Fi here, it might take some while to finish, like a, like for a minute, and the Omega connection might get restarted. Let me do this. Okay, so it might take some while. The firmware is being upgraded. So don't disconnect your device or do anything. Just be patient and wait for a while. Okay, so it has just finished, but my Omega 2 Plus has not. So after the firmware upgrade, uh, the Omega 2 Plus is flashing and it will be usable after uh, the flashing stops and the light is consistent or solid. So let's wait for the light to be solid. You can see the light has turned into a solid constant light and if you, I show you the Wi-Fi Okay, looks like let me turn it off. Okay, here is the Omega. So now it's the Omega is ready to use. So you can use it at your age. So thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. So I'll be making more videos about the Omega. Mm. Stay tuned. Don't